Good morning, folks. We're starting here with photos coming to us out of Australia. They're just days into summer in the southern hemisphere, and while high tops in the south get a dusting once or twice during their summer months, they got a dusting, then a flaking, and it kept coming and coming. There's the usual dusting, and then there's this. Let me quickly share a paper we've been investigating on the website for a while, tying back into what we've been saying for over a year, potential for a near-term, multi-decade mini ice age. The solar magnetics are weakening fast. We've shown it in the sunspot number and classifications every day, especially as they pertain to their lack of flaring. For those new to the channel and or the topics, bet you'd like to hear what the experts have to say. On the website, suspiciousobservers.org, you can learn more about the climate issue. Climate number three down at the bottom of that page will be best. Other important background videos essentially allow you to understand what we're all talking about here. Folks, this is like something out of a dream. Second radioactive slush spill in a week based on catastrophic container failure. Remember the Ranger Mine incident in Australia? Same company, now in Namibia. Shifting to the east where an ultra-virulent plague strain is having its way a bit in Madagascar. Then shift northeast to China where a failed launch sent the rocket and Brazilian satellite it carried flaming back to Earth after failing to reach orbit. The number of non-human missions that have failed recently from them and even more from Russia it's very puzzling. Coming to the Tropic Watch. Cyclone finally diving west towards the Indian coastline after stalling as stated yesterday. It's weakened a good bit. Flash flood and landslide locations we've eyed are still under the gun with daily torrentials hitting the same areas as the last week. Coming slightly west, we see heat heading north and a modicum of precipitation. No major watches there. Lows in the south spin clockwise and of leading east convergence lines, but they swing up to the equator rather than down towards it from the north. Cold air smashed into warm moisture causing those pop-ups that will spin round across northern Australia and down to the Kiwis. Lows just offshore in Europe, clouds following that leading east edge in the north as well. Gotta be absolutely freezing in eastern Europe though. We'll get snow to the backside of the departing low in the eastern US and Canada. Incoming low is handling all the weather direction for the west coast at the moment. Solar wind, undeniably weakening on every metric, taking along with it any geomagnetic disturbance we might have seen develop. Solar flaring doing much of the same quiet as a mouse. The developing sunspot groups up north need central polarity mixing. Looks like the lead might get it. We needed to add a gamma class to the southern incoming lead last night for the split umbral magnetics and I do see a potential delta spot developing northeast of that trailing double positive. Up north, massive umbras, but this appears to be a double negative core group with trailing positive penumbral shoots and plaguing. Doppler gram suggests we may see central vorticity again, but that's an aesthetic issue only. Coronal hole power, holding still, hasn't happened this month. Coronal fields, sticking a pinky out saying he's still there, but no doubt, they're opening and opening. 11 days into December and the Quake Watch score has not risen above 7, because those fields refuse to be open and powerful at the same time. It's a good possibility today though, and if so, well I stand by yesterday's comments. Shots of the southern filament destabilization to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.20am Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.